Welcome into the latest edition of College Football Smothered and Covered. My name is Barrett Salee. Appreciate you guys checking out the show. If this is your first time, this is a rebrand of SEC Smothered and Covered, which was discontinued in 2018 with 12,000 subscribers. Still not happy about the circumstances around that, but that's neither here nor there. We are covering the college football world, so please share this with your friends. Make it part of your new media college football rotation. A lot of people do a great job out there in the college football new media world. Definitely want you to make us a part of that. We are brought to you by Bet Online, your number one source for all things sports this summer, whether it be college football uh, prop bets, live lines, MMA, Major League Baseball. They have everything. Of course, live lines, the biggest, biggest, most important thing in the gambling world. Knock, knock, hint, hint, state of Georgia. Might want to do something about that. Hey, when the game's over, go unwind. Blackjack, a little poker, maybe if you're a slot person, 150 slot options over at Bet Online. Use promo code Believe, B L E A V. That's B L E A V, and get 50% free bet credit on your first deposit up to $250. That's code Believe, B L E A V. Bet Online, the game starts here. Big 12, it's a new game in town. With the Big 12, with the addition of the Arizona schools and Colorado and Utah. Should be a fun season. I've said this on a lot of different shows that I've been on, podcasts that I've been on. I've said it on SiriusXM, said it in a lot of different places. That the Big 12 this year is going to be a lot like the Pac-12 was like last year. Maybe not in the sense of quarterback play, because Pac-12 last year, the quarterback play was simply insane. But in terms of overall intrigue, in terms of week-to-week momentum, week-to-week uh, upsets, all of that stuff, storylines all over the place, the Big 12 is it. And no, I'm not talking about Colorado, although we have some Colorado talk that we will talk about uh, in just a bit. But just overall, Is there a dominant team in the conference? No. You can make a case for seven or eight teams being legitimate contenders, not just for the conference title, but for the college football playoff. Because unless there's an undefeated group of five team, one of these big 12 teams is going to get a top four seed in the college football playoff. Which one? I don't know. Throw them all in in a basket, pick them out. That's exactly what the Big 12 media did. Big 12 media poll coming out on Tuesday. And for those of you on audio, we're going to run through these very, very quickly. Utah picked to win the conference, followed by Kansas State, Oklahoma State, Kansas, Arizona, Iowa State, West Virginia, UCF, Texas Tech, TCU, Colorado, Baylor, BYU, Cincinnati, Houston, and rounding out the 16 spots, the Arizona State Sun Devils. All right. Poor Arizona State. I love Coach Dillingham. Yikes. All right, let's talk a little bit about Utah first. I'm okay with the Utah love because the identity has been established. We know what Coach Kyle Whittingham does. He wins the line of scrimmage. He's evolved that offense into one of the most dynamic in the Pac-12, and that will continue as long as Cam Rising is healthy and from all reports, Cam Rising is healthy. So picking Utah to win the Big 12, even though it's their first year, I'm totally fine with that. I get it. I wouldn't, and I will not pick them to win the Big 12 this year. Well, you know what? Maybe because of some circumstances. That happened over the weekend. We might change that. But right now, I I totally get it. I totally get it. You like Utah to win the Pac-12 in years past? You probably like them to win the Big 12 this year. Understand it. When it comes to coaching, Coach Kyle's a top 10 coach. Maybe even a top five coach. If you put it in proper context as to what the upside is, or at least the doors that are open for Utah. Not surprising. Not surprising. Utah's one of the best teams in the country. It's developed a reputation. That reputation precedes itself, so I like it. Now, this one is interesting. Like The next three, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, and Kansas. Look, I'll go ahead and tell you. 
I think Oklahoma State's going to win the Big 12. I think Oklahoma State's going to be a top four seed in the college football playoff. As of this very second, as long as Ollie Gordon stays healthy and stays on the field, there is some breaking news about potentially staying on the field. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But in terms of Oklahoma State, this is the perfect Mike Gundy team. When does Oklahoma State come out of nowhere and become a power? It's when they're experienced. That's exactly what Oklahoma State is this year. They have the best running back in college football, and yes, Ollie Gordon II is that. Even EA Sports agrees, but EA Sports has not done a great job. But some of the other rankings, again, we will talk about that in just a second. But veteran quarterback, extremely experienced offensive line, a front seven that has veterans everywhere, and a coach in Mike Gundy who – has the ability to lead a team to conference championships. He's just been blocked by some unique circumstances pretty much every time he has an elite team. But let's go back. I mean, think about this. A couple of years ago, Oklahoma State was literally one inch, like literally one inch, a dive towards the pylon from making the college football playoff. They didn't. But... That's what this team's capable of. We don't have to go back to 2011, different era. But this has all of the makings of the Mike Gundy special in a conference that's easier to win now. It's easier to navigate. Because even if Texas and Oklahoma didn't win the Big 12, even if they weren't in that Big 12 championship game, they were much bigger potholes than Kansas State, Kansas, whoever. It's the truth. It's a lot harder to navigate through the Big 12 with those two in it as opposed to the new four, the four new newcomers. So I like Oklahoma State. Now, you want to make an argument for Kansas? I mean, sorry, Kansas State? Sure. I love that. I love Kansas State. And again, this is why the Big 12 is so exciting. Throw all these names in a hat, pick one out, you can make a case. Certainly can make a case for Kansas State. Very experienced running back core. You know what their established identity is, winning at the line of scrimmage. And a quarterback in Avery Johnson, who actually beat out the presumptive Ohio State starting quarterback, except for whatever reason, people don't seem to realize it. Yes, Avery Johnson beat out Will Howard. Ohio State fans, you don't like to hear that. It's the truth. And a coach that obviously is as hard-nosed as hard-nosed comes. So if you want to make a case for Kansas State over... Oklahoma State, or even Utah. Again, you can make some great points. You can make some great points. And again, getting back to the Big 12. I love this. That's why it's the most exciting conference in college football this year. It's going to be so much fun. Now, let's go through, you know, let's scoot down a little bit. First of all, Arizona at five. I'm Without Jed Fish, I know Noah Fidia is a good, good player, but Without Jed Fish, I'm just not, not buying them. West Virginia at number seven. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why there's not more West Virginia love. Neil Brown proved he can adjust and fix the glitch last year. He went in in the hot seat, came out looking just fine. That's hard to do. That's hard to do. In the process... He developed one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country. You probably don't know about him. If you've listened to this show, if you've watched this show, you probably do because I've been talking about him for a very long time, and that is Garrett Green. And if you don't believe me, and look, I'm not the biggest go look at pro prospects, and that's how a, a team should be ranked. I'm not the biggest proponent of that, but I do know that. If you see a guy who's a top 10 player on pro football focus quarterback li quarterbacks list, you probably should at least pay attention to him. And Garrett Green's on pretty much all of those. Can run, can throw. Is with a new coach, a quarterback coach who he's very familiar with. And on a team that is surprisingly, if you haven't been paying attention, very strong on both sides of the line of scrimmage. 
I'm not saying West Virginia is going to win the Big 12. I'm not saying that. But at number seven in the preseason media poll rankings, that to me is a little disrespectful. And maybe just an acknowledgement that a lot of people just sort of view West Virginia out on this island and they don't care. They don't think that they can come back to the mainland. I haven't looked at what the odds are for West Virginia because honestly, like that's it's gone up and down. But I can guarantee you one thing whatever the Big 12 championship odds are for West Virginia, I am going to invest. No matter where they go from now into the start of the season. And I'm not going to do it now because I'd like to see what happens, what the season's going to look like, and what what fall camp looks like, and if people get injured or suspended, whatever. Not saying West Virginia can win the Big 12. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. Could they make the uh, Big 12 championship game? Yeah. 60 good minutes there. They can be Big 12 champions. Not likely. Value would be there. Guarantee you the value will be there. And I'm still, like, this is the most humor, the hum humorous part of this entire thing. Colorado at 11. Colorado at 11 in the Big 12 juxtapose that with EA Sports national rankings in the video game. Colorado's number 16. Number 11 in the Big 12, number 16 in the country. One of these things is not like the other. And it's EA Sports rankings, of course. <laughs> Honestly, putting Colorado ahead of Baylor and BYU and, I mean, hell, you can make a case that Arizona State's better than Colorado. Until Colorado learns how to block, it's hard to trust them. 11 is too aggressive. You could even put them last. But hey, got to sell those video games. I, I bought it. <laughs> it's fine. I understand, and we talked about this in the show uh, last week. EA Sports is doing a great job. But it's a, I just found it hilarious that... The Big 12 media members had them 11th in the conference, whereas EA Sports had them 16th nationally. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Big 12 also came out with preseason awards. Offensive player of the year, Ollie Gordon the second from Oklahoma State. Defensive player of the year, Travis Hunter, of course, defensive back for Colorado. Newcomer of the year, KJ Jefferson, former Arkansas quarterback, now at UCF. This tells you how star-studded this conference actually is. I, I know that, you know, we, we kind of overlooked the Big 12 as a competitive conference, but even without Texas and Oklahoma, there are some dudes you should pay attention to. We just got done talking about Garrett Green, Travis Hunter, of course, Shadur Sanders, K.J. Jefferson at UCF. Talk about a perfect quarterback for Gus Malzahn. These three dudes are incredible. But K.J. Jefferson, and I said this when he was at Arkansas, and I'm not saying that he's going to be Cam Newton, but he plays a lot like Cam Newton, who was the offensive coordinator of that Auburn team, Gus Malzahn. And K.J.'s got players around him, specifically Kobe Hudson outside. He's in a, a, a position right now to announce UCF's presence in the Big 12 with authority. I know they were there last year, but this is a brand new era. Texas and Oklahoma gone, everything gets reset. So now this year, we're I think the biggest storyline in the Big 12 is who's going to be the power, right? Who's going to be the power? It's going to be UCF. Yeah, I think it could be. I think they're flying under the radar anyway. Is there a juggernaut? I think it could be UCF. KJ Jefferson's in a great spot. So we can sit here and talk about Travis Hunter. And look, we've talked about Colorado and Travis Hunter enough. Um, Jitter Sanders as well. We did mention Colorado last segment. Get it. We do have to mention Colorado just because it's fun. But KJ at UCF has really flown under the radar as one of the most important additions, I would say, in the country. 
because somebody's got to save this conference. Everybody talks about, hey, you know, we love competitor. We love parity. No, you don't. You have to have a villain. So if you have a team that everybody hates, like Texas, or if you're a Texas fan, you want Texas to be on top. Who's going to be that team? Could be UCF. They've invested so much into that program. I talked to Gus Malzahn um, earlier this offseason, and he's just he's so happy, so relaxed, so confident. And I think that sh goes to show how the administrators and boosters have followed through on what they promised when he got hired. So I love it. KJ Jefferson, the man on the right here on your graphic. If you're listening, go watch it on YouTube. Keep an eye on him. Might be one of the stars you're not talking about. But on this graphic, the guy on the left, we've talked a lot about him on this show. We're going to talk about him some more. That is Ollie Gordon the second. <sighs> Y'all, you're athletes. You play for multi-billion dollar schools. There's the thing called Uber. Why the hell are you going out and getting arrested for suspicion of DUI and speeding? There are so many people that will come get you. There are so many people that if you're a superstar running back or if you're a member of the football program at all, you can call, you can text and say, dude, I am hammered. I want to go home and I don't want to drive and they will be there instantaneously. And I'm not talking about friends. I'm not talking. There are people in the athletic department who can easily do that, who are available to do that at all times. So you don't even have to call Uber. You can call Uber. That's a great option too. DUI is bad, but if you're Ollie Gordon the second, you also have a lot on the line by doing something like that. There are a thousand different reasons why this was a stupid thing to do. And it drives me absolutely insane when you have the resources to prevent something that's easily preventable, and you don't do it. Does it mean Oklahoma State is going to suspend him? Yeah, they're probably going to suspend him. If this, if this is a, a one of those cases where it becomes reality and he gets punished and has to pay a fine and goes on probation, yeah, they're going to suspend him. You can't have DUI. And there's protocols in the student handbook that would basically – dictate what his punishment is if you're mike gundy don't you want to make a statement too how long can you win without ollie gordon because you want to make a statement you can this is the perfect way to do it to set the tone for the season we'll see what happens but it's just so the nfl is the same way it's one of those things like in the nfl also if you get Busted for marijuana at the NFL Combine. It's like, dude, you've known this job interview has been coming up for months. And you know this is going to be asked and you know you're going to be tested and you still get popped for it. Come on. Same sort of thing here. But whatever. Whatever. July 4th coming up. Hope everybody has a safe July 4th uh, weekend. Or July 4th. I guess it's a long weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't think a lot of people are going to work on Friday. It's the best kind, right? When you have that day, you're supposed to have work, but you really shouldn't have. It's like Black Friday, right? Yeah, it's not a holiday, but no one really shows up. But prepare accordingly, of course. Be smart, be safe, and of course, the most important thing, barbecue is a food. It's not an event. You're not going to a barbecue. We're having barbecue. Another thing, if you compliment pulled pork or brisket at a restaurant because they have good sauce, you are not having good pork or brisket. That's indisputable. Anybody who touts a sauce is not touting food, is not confident in food. All right, end of rant.
The show brought to you by Bet Online, of course. <laughs> Look, go to Bet Online. It's 50% off your first deposit, your first bet, up to $250. It's there for you. It's free money. Use promo code BELIEVE, B L E A V, and you can get that. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, everybody. We'll talk to you Wednesday.